Uh, greetings, friends. It's me, Wayman. Um, for the most part, I'm done coughing my guts out, but um, I'm I'm still trying to get my voice back. Um, as I was reading, uh, I came across something that you all might find interesting, and I thought maybe a few people out there might be able to use it. This is in Bullfinch's Mythology, uh, chapter 19. I'm kind of going through that since I've been sick. It's an awesome read. Um, I started reading that because I wanted to read Milton's um, Paradise, uh, Paradise Lost. And I didn't know enough Greek and Roman mythology to read it straight through uh, without stopping every five minutes and looking at footnotes. Because back then, people knew this mythology a lot better than today and a lot of people find it a huge interruption to the poetry when they're trying to read it rather than to uh, know it and whatnot but here's the um, ascension and transfiguration of Hercules uh, this is excellent um, Hercules at the end, end of his life ran into some trouble and um, they're doing the burial and he's, uh, the torch is put, and uh, fires are now devouring uh, the, uh, the, the funeral rite, uh, altar, wood kind of um, ritual the Greeks used to do. Um, you, can read about, you can read about how they do that in the, um, in the, uh, in the Aeneid also. But, um, here it is, uh, chapter 19, towards the end. So, so look this up. It's Bullfinch's mythology. Um, it's online. The gods themselves felt troubled at seeing the champion of the earth so brought to his end. But Jupiter, with cheerful countenance, thus addressed them. I am pleased to see your concern, my princess. I am gratified to perceive that I am the ruler of a loyal people, and that my son enjoys your favor. For although your interest in him arises from his noble deeds, yet it is not the less gratifying to me. But now I say to you, fear not. He who conquered all else is not to be conquered by those flames which you see blazing on Mount Etna. By his mother's share in him can perish. Only his mother's share in him can perish. What he derived from me is immoral. I shall take him dead to earth to heavenly shores, and I require of you all to receive him kindly. If any of you feel grieved at his attending this honor, at his attaining this honor, yet no one can deny that he has deserved it. The gods all gave their assent. Juno only heard the closing words with some displeasure that she should be so particularly pointed at, yet not enough to make her regret the de determination of her husband. So when the flames had consumed the mother's share of Hercules, the diviner part instead, being injured thereby, seemed to start forth, instead of being injured thereby, seemed to start forth with new vigor to assume a more lofty port and a more awful dignity. Jupiter enveloped him in a cloud and took him up in a four-horse chariot to dwell among the stars. As he took his place in heaven, Atlas felt the added weight. So, uh, something to think about. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, uh, the uh, attacks of the giants um, trying to conquer heaven a few times. Excellent, excellent uh, mythology and, and reads. Um, so, uh, maybe go through this. Um, Leverbox Recordings uh, has a recording online if you don't feel like uh, reading it. Uh, the book I got um, was um, picked up at Barnes & Noble's for a sweet deal. It was on the um, it was on the uh, um, rack of discount books. It includes Included the Age of Fable, the Age of Chivalry, and the Legends of Charlemagne, and um, this was probably, I think it was ten dollars. 
You could get it cheaper than that in paperback. But um, like I say, it's free online. So take a look at that. Think about that. And also, um, as you're scrolling down, um, take a look at uh, the chapter on Minerva and what her role was. Um, it's very interesting indeed. So uh, take care, friends. And uh, remember, if everybody's thinking alike, then somebody isn't thinking.